Hey everybody, welcome back to Greedfall. Uh, we're looking for Constantine's hideout now, which appears to be just outside the city. And I imagine, as I've been theorizing for a while, that we're closing in on the end. We've gone and gathered support from all of the factions who said that they are willing to help in what is likely going to be some type of Constantin takedown. Now, how that's going to go, I don't know. Is there a way to not have to kill him? Would be nice, but we'll have to see. He is our cousin, after all. But, uh, if he's turning into a ruthless island destroyer, it's gonna be problematic. The cave up here. that Constantin indicated in his note shouldn't be very far. He must have made sure that the place was guarded so that the intruder can come and run through his belongings. Let's be careful. Oh, he hits pretty hard. Shit. Okay. Okay. Blunderbuss with golden barrel. So, tons of elemental damage. Tons of stun. And a lot of armor damage. I'm... So that requires an accuracy of 5. And we had just recently put a point into here, which means unlikely to get this. I know it's the, the fire rate's much lower, but I would try that. I would try that. We'll see if we get enough levels, but gonna be doubtful. Ooh, gotta be in here, right? Yeah. So obviously he's been working with some people on this. As he's got protection. <laughs> I thought that was going to hit. I'm really hoping we have enough bullets <laughs> to fight our way through here. What in the actual F is this? Constantine's research notes. According to my calculations, by performing linking rituals in Cred, Gwen, and Vedvilve, I know Milfrichtiman should be sufficiently weakened and I sufficiently powerful to fight him. I cannot wait to annihilate this senile old god. Oh, not a good look, Constantine. Not a good look. Constantine has marked several places on this map. I recognize some of them. They are sacred places for the natives. Places of connection. This place. This journal. My poor Constantine, you have completely lost your mind. What are you hoping to achieve with these rituals? No Donegad has ever done such a thing. It goes against the balance that we are defending. Enon Mir Frichtemann was right. Your cousin wants power. He is feeding from the strength of Tyr Fredi. So Ugh. much so that he's threatening Enon Mil himself. He wants to take his place. 
To think he's been plotting this absurd plan for weeks. He even used us to achieve it. The intruder in the sanctuary was certainly sent by him to scout the place. We'll need to gather allies if we're going to stop him. But we will also have to weaken him and break apart the bonds that he's established. You're perfectly right, my child. And only a very wise Donegad will know how to proceed. Dunkers may be willing to listen to us. At least there's a better chance than with the High Priestess. You're right. Let's go and find him. So it seems like maybe... We could have just come and found this first. And then gone to gather the support. But uh, you never know. So we'll go back and, and confirm with Dunkus. Even though he already said that he would support us. I guess we need to get more specific. I feel like his descent into madness happened really quickly. I know we just said that it was, you know, a couple of weeks, but it feels very quick to me. I know we don't have uh, Afra here, but... Oh, that's not what I want, is it? Oh, I don't even have Hoofungus. Forget it. Okay, Dunkus, we're back. What brings you here on Omanawi? As I've told you before, my cousin bonded himself in many places before he decided to target the heart of the island. You did tell me, and you must know that by doing so, he has acquired a power that no Donegada has ever possessed. That is why I need your help. We need to break some of his bonds in order to weaken him. Rest assured. All the Donegada will answer to the call of their Hoi King. And with their help, we will heal the wound your cousin has opened. However, to accomplish this, it is Oi who will need your help. What can I do? During the ritual, the one who is bonding himself spills some of his blood near the base of a stone. And this blood summons a guardian. The Guardian lifts the stone so that it may serve as an anchor point for the bond. Oh, okay, okay. The only way We've to seen break that this in the cutscene. ...is to have a Guardian topple the stone. We will be able to do it, but these rituals take a long time. Too long to be done quickly. So, in the meantime, you must prevent your cousin from drawing magic from the place. What does that mean exactly? Here. Take these seeds and plant them at the bottom of your cousin's bonding stones. These plants grow very fast, and their roots will prevent him from drawing the strength of Tiefradi. However, you must be careful, because the guardians corrupted by him will come to defend the stones. Thank you, Dunkers. And thank you for wanting to stop your cousin. Don't worry. I will send my people to finish the work of the plants I have given you. Okay. So, we need to go to these places and put these seeds down. Break the link. So, okay. Okay. Whoops. We'll travel from here. We'll start with this one, I guess.
I'm wondering if this is going to be as simple as just planting the seed. Okay, we're good to go. Or if we're going to be confronted. Yeah, we're going to be confronted. <laughs> Quickly get rid of these things, please. off one of those heels, Siora. I know you got him. Come on! He's down, he's down. I should actually look at whipping up some more traps. seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donnygarda of Dunkus's clan is sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. That's cool. Okay, so one remains and it seems like we are going to have to fight. We've become so powerful. I wonder what the game is like at, uh, like, the regular difficulty, because I feel like on this mode, it's... By now, the combat's almost trivial. There's a couple times where we get caught off guard. There is one above this still, I think, that would maybe be more punishing, but maybe it'd just be more tedious. I don't know. Oh, let's do, um... see here. Do we need science level 2? I think it would actually make sense. We'll try and be efficient here. Max out our science. And then... Make a bunch of these. Make a bunch of these. The stasis mix is kind of like, eh, whatever. Just trying to see if there's anything else that we might need in here. Not really. I guess we can make this. Look, oh my god. That'll work.
All right. You have little friends helping you too? Doesn't look like it. Oh, get the half out of there. Jeez. He is all over us. Down. I want to get the, the bomb on him here. Us right now. Is he doing anything? Big Daddy Petrus took the day off, it seems. Oh, there you are. Thanks. Thanks, thanks. Look! The plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donnygarda of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. Point of no return. Be careful beyond this point, you'll not be able to continue other ongoing quests. It's happening! It's happening. Sometimes I like when games tell you that, and other times I'm like, eh. Just let me be. But I think some players feel like uh, a sense of being ripped off if you're like, oh, I didn't know that I couldn't finish that stuff, which I also understand. <laughs> All right. Gather your companions before going to the sanctuary. This is going to be wild.
Do I have a companions? How are you feeling, my child? Cool. What you are about to do is difficult. Don't make it harder than it has to be, Petrus. Fighting against your cousin isn't pleasant, but it's the only logical thing to do. A nicer way of saying he has no choice. Indeed. I must stop Constantine, regardless of what it may cost me. Not only to obtain an antidote to the Malachor, but also to save this island. I have learned many things by your side, and thanks to you, I was able to give my mother back to the Earth. I won't forget this. And this is my land, my people. I will be by your side. You will not go through this ordeal alone. What's happened to Constantine is regrettable. But you're doing what must be done. You're a good person, Greenblood. Then you can count on your old master of arms to protect you. We will all be with you. I think After he's telling all, us this telepathically. All of us, doesn't it? Naturally. We will be by your side to support you both physically and spiritually. Thank you. You have been precious allies, and you are proving once more the value of your friendship. Now let's go. It'll be a shame if we arrive too late. They're all here. <laughs> all right. Salt on the heart. The Look at this. The sanctuary has been forced. A fight took place here. Constantine managed to get through. Let's hurry. Look at that. Oh my god. Wait, what? Find the professor. What the? Oh, okay. It's it's like clearing out the. Yeah, okay. Fine. That's just the thing about finding all of the uh, random notes scattered about. Oh, please. I mean, if you're starved for anything at this point, probably doing something wrong. Desade, glad to see you. Sadly, we couldn't stop your cousin. He suddenly stormed our position, along with a horde of enraged creatures. We didn't stand a chance. And now there are beasts attacking us relentlessly. My men are doing all they can to stop them. We thought it best to stay here to keep the path open for you, should you want to face your cousin. Thank you. You did well. I'll do everything in my power to catch him and stop him from carrying out his plan. Keep holding on as long as you can. I need to be able to reach him. Wait, there's a group of creatures coming. Let's begin. Maybe in life you protect me Get me out of here. Bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! Oh, we got like full on battle going. I'll stay here with them, Greenblood. What? He's right. We must help them stop these creatures. Are you sure? Every minute gained is a minute that allows you to save us. Glad to have you with us, Kurt. Just like the good old huh. days. And thank you too, Afra. It is an honor. Enough with the talking, Greenblood. Go. And stop Constantine. I'd hate to be doing this for nothing. In that case, thank you. And good luck to both of you. Oh, and Afra. Be careful. Is that... Is that the line that we get because she's our companion? Is that what's up? Isn't this... Yeah, okay. I was right. 
It would be kind of interesting if it was, um... Like, kind of a Mass Effect-style thing where you're choosing, like, who to come along and who to keep behind and stuff. Oh, here we go. Maybe there's more. That's better. Is this the last time we'll see each other then? Nope. I don't know. Go. Yeah, I was I was wondering, I was like, you know, we're just like, okay, bye. Good luck. That's much better. May the enlightened protect me in the battle. And let's go! I should probably try to hit those a little bit more in the larger group. The AoE is huge, but... Okay, I don't know why... Like, I don't know why Siora's not in here. Same thing happening with Petrus. These guys are just frozen. Who's up there? Oh, okay. I see. Okay. So we're going to, like, run into each of the factions along the way, likely. There you are. I was starting to think that we would die here for nothing. Your cousin just passed through here with a horde of beasts, and he keeps sending us more. We won't hold very long. We're not used to fine creatures like these. Second mate, we Fernando. Are, and we will hold long enough for you to reach the heart. Even if we must die in the process. But you must chase him. You must prevent him from performing the ritual at all costs. If Enon Milfrichtemann dies, we're all doomed. I'm well aware of that. Believe me. But here come some more beasts. Two arms. Be ready. Oh, these are the big ones. I gotta kind of maybe conserve some ammo here. I'll stay with oh, my she's people. staying back too. And I'll stay with her. One blade more can't hurt. I we see need how this to is prevent going. the beasts from following your tracks. Yeah, we could use some help here, to be honest. I wouldn't have put it that way, but the Moridigan <laughs> isn't wrong. You see? Over and done. You should go now. And may the volcano give you its strength. Well, good luck. So at the same time, is this kind of... Yeah, this is stripping us of some of the um, companion benefits that we have, too. Just kind of a cool way of doing things, I guess. <sighs> That's a problem. That is a problem. I 
gonna grab this. I should have been buying up more hoof fungus, apparently. It's just me and BDP left. Try and do this with... unfortunate whiff. going to be Teleme here. And it looks like we'll be going it on our own. There you are. Praise the Enlightened. Your cousin has already reached the heart. Our other allies inform me. They are also trying to stop the creatures. What do you intend to do? Pursue him all the way there and do everything I can to stop him. In that case, may the Enlightened keep you in his divine... Oh no. More beasts are coming! Be prepared! Lady and Lighty, protect me in this battle! Probably just bind this at this point. staying with my people. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to let the young ones get all the glory. Your help would be a blessing, father. You see? You should go now, my child. Be careful. We are all praying for your success. Thank you, Petrus. Be careful too. Petrus actually really grew on me, man. Just 
want to see... So I don't have any hoof fungus anyways. How much are we carrying? <sighs> A lot. We go it alone now. First of all, okay. You just walked right over that poison trap. Woo! Get me out. Okay, so we're gonna go magic. Then we're gonna also go, we may as well use all these things. Man, that actually refills so quick with that potion. I've been drastically underutilizing that. Like, as in kinda never. Right into it. Yikes. Careful. <laughs> okay, this one's giving us a little bit of a challenge, actually. Damn. See, I can't even... I can't stack the, um... The magic enough. Did I not take that fury? That's the best source of poison that I can get, really. Just 
Jeez. I'd really like to get in there, but... Kind of difficult. I'm also wondering... Do we need to be worried about having to fight? What does power potion do? I think it just makes me like hit harder or anything. Do we also have to fight Constantine after this? I would definitely have made more fury potions. Had I oh, used them before. Oh boy. That might be enough. Oh boy. I think we got him. Whoa. done this but for you for us so that we may live free at last this makes no sense Constantine it's madness you don't understand because you're still attached to the old world this old dying world which to survive has betrayed used and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us perhaps but I've seen death cousin and I understood the vanity of it all my father's ruses, just so he could earn more power. The political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. I have been offered unrivaled power, allowing me to get rid of this. To send the old world back to its inevitable death and to build something new here. Something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods, the immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its vices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him, to break millennia of foicles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here with me. And I mean, it's we'll not much of a choice. Forever. There's no way we go through all of that just to say, okay, I'm with you. Oh, God. Ah! Come. Sweet prince. 
fruit. After the fall of Constantine, my young student managed to establish stronger links between the old nations and the natives. Some of their Donegada were even invited to the continent, and with their help, it slowly became a land filled with life again. And for the first time in a long while, the number of cases of the Malachor is hmm. decreasing. Those who bravely fought at Dorhad Genadu were celebrated everywhere. After all, if it weren't for this unlikely alliance, the island would have fallen into Constantine's greedy hands. This victory earned Afra the respect of all the native clans. Oh, she cool. now spends most of her time with them. Oh, when she isn't with the man she loves, of course. Zieglinda took Kurt as an advisor. But he insisted on keeping his place alongside his former student and friend. What Watching a bro. his back, as he always had, Siora obtained the title of Marl of the Red Spears alongside her twin. She leads them with wisdom, but often reunites with the one she still calls <laughs> her Karantz. For his bravery, Vasco was awarded the rank of commander. He now travels the sea at the head of a whole fleet, but he often comes back to visit his brother-in-arms. Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much-coveted title of Cardinal. Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes <laughs> visits the one he calls his child. Despite the help Ulan received, which allowed him to restore the importance of the seaside Gnemeus, he still had to renounce the role of Marl as he faced the contempt of the other clans. Her friendship with her Anaixe helped Deirdre to overcome her reticence. She willfully accepted to follow the orders of her new High King. Duncas and his people spent a lot of time with savants and theologians Patiently, they shared their knowledge of the Earth and learnt new techniques from one another. And in so doing, they restored balance between the New World and the Old. Following the investigations revealing the horrifying practices of Dr. Asili, the Alliance changed their methods and even appointed an ethics council to oversee the work of its scholars. The public revelations of St. Matthias's life led to a deep change in Teleme. The Ordo Luminis was dismantled for good, and the missionary's purpose is now to establish dialogue rather than conversion. Aware that their culture of secrets would lead them to their demise, the Nords changed <laughs> their methods. That's cool. They welcomed numerous new recruits amongst them, notably natives. Under Zieglinder's control, the guard returned to the honorable values that had made its reputation. And they did so all the more easily, now that their shadiest members were out of the picture. Basically replacing everyone. Damn, that was cool. Um, I loved this game. Like, I absolutely loved it. There's definitely criticisms that I have that we'll talk about it, but... I want to just kind of bask in the journey and the destination. The, the thing that I loved about it from the very beginning, and the things that I think were the absolute strongest parts of the game, were especially early on, and, and you, you kind of felt it different um, as the game went on, but the first half of the game had really cool quest designs, and it made you feel as though the possibilities were so numerous that you could play the game multiple times trying different approaches and you would feel way differently about the game based on those approaches that you made. 
whether or not that's the case, I don't know. But that's certainly how it felt. And I love that feeling. Like, even the very first mission, I think, where we were dealing with the snake oil salesman guy, the medicine uh, guy at the little caravan there. And there were multiple things that we could have done to deal with him and then sneak him out of there or uh, talk to the people or what have you. Like, just really cool options. I think that's where the game was really strong. The second thing that I thought was really exceptional is uh, the characters. Like, all of our companions were unique, and you cared about each of them for different reasons. Uh, some were definitely stronger than others. I think the character of uh, Siora was by far the, the most well-written, and it would be hard to tell me otherwise that you shouldn't bring her on 90% of the missions. <laughs> she was just really, really good to have. And because you're dealing with the natives so frequently, it just made a lot of sense to have her there. Um, whereas, like, you know, Kurt is kind of your basic buddy, but he still had some depth. And when you're getting into the coin guard stuff, he was affected by it. And that backstory with him and the crazy uh, camp was pretty gnarly. I think Vasco was a little bit underutilized. Petrus really grew on me. At the beginning, I was kind of like, okay, this seems a bit weird. And then I went through the, like, is he our dad phase? Then that was quickly dismissed. But the point of the point of Petrus, in my opinion, was to kind of give Teleme a little bit more approachability. Because at the beginning, I'm like, no, hard no on the religious dudes. I'm over it, not happening. But then Petrus, you're like, okay, well, Petrus seems all right, so maybe they're not all bad, and um, I like that. Even though pretty much everybody else that we met from Teleme, most of them, were like straight up, no freaking way. <laughs> uh, and then Afra, she was interesting at the beginning when we first found out about her, and she's kind of like this researcher. It was cool. And I like that she was kind of like the knowledge one. But by the same token, she kind of fell flat on like the relationship side of things. I do like that she was kind of, even in the romancing, it was very analytical and very... It, it'd be cool to see all the romance options. I imagine, and I, I wish I could have figured out how to... Um, how to uh, make the romance happen with Siora. For whatever reason, I, I don't know. Maybe it was... Maybe I needed to do all of her quests first and we maybe we finished Aphra's and we already committed to her and then when we had options to talk to Siora, maybe I didn't pick the right things or what have you, but I think the relationship was her, with her would have ultimately been my preference, as you guys could probably pick up based on the comments I had. But... Um, at the end of the day, all the characters were good. Even the even the non-companion characters were pretty good. Um, the Mother Cardinal was interesting. I feel like Corsalon was pretty underused. Um, Constantine was interesting, albeit his descent into madness happened really quickly. The one thing I wish we saw is, uh, like, related to characters, is his parents. Because we talked about that a lot at the beginning, and I felt like eventually they would be here to see what was going on since they kind of appointed him uh, governor of the place or whatever. That never really paid off. Um, but yeah, I really loved all the characters and I loved the, the questing. Um, it didn't... There's a, And here's the thing, okay? I've made this comment a couple times. You might not have heard it if you didn't watch every single episode. The There's a lot of cons with this game. There's a lot of things that I'm like... There's just... Ugh, there's something not quite up to par and uh, they're numerous okay and I'm going to talk about some of them but there's definitely more uh, number one the combat eh at the beginning it was like okay there's like a parry mechanic there's like you, you know you gotta kind of figure things out and but then you know once you figure out the, the method it's just it's quite tedious and you would just destroy even the big like the big uh, guardians you know they they could have made them they could have done it 
much different and they tried to give them like unique attacks and stuff but it's just your approach could have been so like it was just the same every time you stun and then you heal or whatever you need to do and, and then stun again and, you know if you didn't have the stasis skill it would be significantly different for sure but the stasis was so strong like why would you not use it you know because if you have to go into those battles multiple times without stasis that would almost get frustrating um, so I felt like the combat was a little bit too, like, too streamlined, too easy. Um, I feel like some of the technical stuff was a bit off-putting, like, when we'd be in, not even a real cutscene, but when uh, characters were having conversation, it would pan to, you know, an over-the-shoulder look, but then you're in the wall and you can't see anything. And one time we were, like, inside the guy's head, you could see through, like, the framework of their mouth and stuff. It was really off-putting um the thing is a lot of these things i can look past because it's a small team and i think this was a really ambitious project for that team and had it not been for the writing there's no way i would have continued playing this game like at the beginning when i first started playing um i was like it's, it's not totally there but the story and the characters are really intriguing and like this idea of having the sickness um, that we had to kind of cure and figure out the source of. I loved that, and I thought it was told in a really cool way. And I'm not really into politics normally, but for some reason, this game just gripped me in a way that I haven't experienced in a long time, story-wise. So I thought that that was pretty cool. Um, but the technical things held it back, you know? Um, I felt like the crafting system was really underdeveloped and really underutilized. Like... I would just make ammo and I had no reason to really upgrade my gear. Um, the loot system was kind of disappointing because you would pick up, you, you'd you'd kill like a boss, you'd kill this big dude, you'd find this hidden chest and it was like, oh, a freaking tricorn that I've got 50 of previously. And I'm like, you know, give me some cool gear. There was a couple times where we found really good gear and it was exciting, but then it was like, oh, if you don't have this specific archetype built for your character, you can't even use it. And then a lot of the other characters, it was incompatible with. So you're like, well, what's the point of finding this stuff if I can't even use it? You know, so it was a little bit frustrating from um, from that regard. Um, there's other things, too. There's like... The first half of the game was like, okay, there's a lot going on and there's like, we're going on this quest, but then something else happens and we kind of, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at like sticking to one quest, finishing it, moving on to the next, but like maybe collecting other quests along the way. And I think that, especially if we're making videos, that is probably better than just running all over the place, getting super confused. But for the second half of the game, what ended up happening was it was like, okay, I got to go do this. Then I got to go do this. Then I got to go do this. And it became very formulaic. And I'm like, I'm traveling from point to point just to initiate conversations. And while the conversations were great, and that's the thing that really drove this game forward is the writing was really good. It was just like the, the mechanics of implementing how you're getting from place to place were done a little bit sloppily. And I don't know how you make that better. It's, I mean, game design's hard. Um, but for me, I just kind of feel like um, it was a little bit of a letdown in terms of um, the pacing, especially the second half of the game. Um, anyways, there's other things that I'm sure I just can't think of off the top of my head. But all of this to say, there's definitely, if you did a pros and cons list, there's more cons for sure. But the quality of the pros outweighs the quality of the cons in my opinion and uh for a small team like this it's like i really am excited to see what they do next like could you imagine if this was done if this game had the the, the support of a really large studio behind it would have been exceptional right because it kind of gave you like dragon age origin vibes but I think I like this more than Dragon Age, to be honest. Dragon Age was way more polished. Um, there was definitely some inspiration from, like, Mass Effect. I felt it mainly in that last mission there. Um, 
you can see influence from a lot of games. The Witcher, there's a lot of influence from The Witcher in here. Um, but the thing about all those games is that they did everything just a little bit better, but this game did do writing pretty well. And although there was like, there were a lot of cool twists, there were a lot of cool twists and turns in the story, even within the quests themselves, there was kind of like these little sub objectives that you're like, oh, what? Like, that's crazy. Um, you know, thinking back to Kurt and like that guy that we could have saved near the very beginning. That's like my my biggest regret of the playthrough actually was that we weren't able to save the um, uh, the guy at that camp. And uh, there was just some cool twists and turns with every character that I liked. Um, the story became a little bit formulaic towards the end where we could kind of tell what was going to happen. We talked about it on Discord quite a bit where it was like, okay, we know probably what's coming. However, let's see what happens. And it did play out pretty much how I expected it to. Um, and that's okay. The ending was... It's satisfying because it was all... It, it was wrapped up. And I like that they give that little postscript. Kind of giving the story of how everyone's doing. And I'm guessing all of that is based on how we handled certain missions. And how we handled our faction relationships and things like that. Um, would have been cool to have more of like a twist. Just, just my personal preference. But... Um, I, I am satisfied and I enjoyed the journey of, of getting there. So anyways, I hope that that helps to kind of share my thoughts on the game. Kind of a mini review from somebody that doesn't really do reviews, but spent a lot of time in here. So I definitely have some opinions and look, I'm excited to see what these guys do in the future. Anything that Spiders does, I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm playing that. I am playing it for sure because I want it. I want to see them improve on this and... If they can just get kind of the technical prowess behind them, oh, that would be amazing. That would be awesome. Anyways, what they've accomplished is still exceptional. And I would say Greedfall is one of my favorite games. I wouldn't, I can't give it like a rating or I wouldn't put it in comparison to other games. It's just, I really enjoyed it. And I did enjoy it uh, from start to finish. So um, I kind of want to see Perhaps if I've it's seen possible my father's to load up. Have been offered to, to send the old and this new, the immortal. He himself is the... All you have to do is to bind yourself here okay. with me. Let's see. And we will be gods together. What the forever. alternative is. Imagine things are changed even more if we have, like, don't have the faction relationships or what have you, but we're going to link to Constantine. predicted when my two young students New gods. left the port of Serene that they'd become the gods of Tiafredi. <laughs> thus plunging the world into chaos. Certainly not me. So it seems that I am a poor teacher. Amongst those who would try to prevent the ritual from taking place, only a handful of dazed survivors remained helplessly facing hordes of creatures following the orders of the two cousins. Afra and Petrus, former rivals, fell together. They couldn't accept this treason from the one they believed huh. in. As for Vasco, he managed to run away and join the Nort fleet. Rumor has it that he went to their island, his heart full of bitterness, and never left it again. With his help, Kurt managed to leave Tiafredi, but only to die on another battlefield. Damn. Siora had done well to go back to her sister, who tried to lead a rebellion for a while. But just like the rest of the clans, she eventually acknowledged the power of their new gods. 
exiled from the island, all our nations sunk into a state of constant warfare, each accusing the others of being responsible for their terrible defeat. The congregation is now on the verge of forming, and I have no doubt that the others will follow. The lives which haven't been taken by war will be taken by the Malikor. On Tiafredi, the Norts report that nature has reclaimed its rights in the cities. After a period of chaos that saw the death of many rebel islanders, the survivors reportedly all ended up acknowledging the power of the two cousins. Oh, wow. But sadly, this is nothing but hearsay, since the news we receive is scarce and getting even more so. Hmm. See, it's interesting. I do kind of wonder if any of that uh, would change based on the relationships with the factions instead of just the one choice at the end. Like, it would be... I like when games kind of show you almost uh, a breakdown of like, here's the here's what you did. Here's why this is happening. Um, I get that that might be complex and hard to do, but that would be nice for something like this because based on that one decision at the end, a lot of things are obviously quite different. Some people died. It's like, you know, um, I would like to see what the impact of the decisions were. But anyways, the other thing I just want to mention is uh, the thing that, that I did like about this game, and I think very timely as well in the story, is just how on point it is for our current day society and dealing with things like climate change and taking care of the environment. I loved that. And you could really feel the the underlying message of the game. And, and it's not too often where that's the case. Uh, a lot of times games have, uh, they just kind of make up a story to make up a story. But I felt like this one had real world tie-ins and real things that made you think about uh, what we're doing to our earth, you know? And uh, it was kind of fascinating in how they did that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know that this definitely wasn't a game for everybody and for the, for the few of you guys that watched every single video, and like diligently, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the support. It means a lot. I'm glad you enjoyed it. A lot of times, um, a game like this, doing fewer views than videos would do if I were to play like brand new releases that I didn't play while I was playing Greedfall, um, I might consider stopping it. But the thing is with Greedfall, I just, I loved it. And that's always been my thing on this channel is like I play stuff that I enjoy and hopefully people like it if i enjoy it enough and the numbers aren't there i'll still continue to play it and sometimes to my detriment but um i'm really glad that you the, those of you that are watching this that you guys enjoyed the series a lot and uh it means a lot to have your support so thank you so much guys that's it for me thank you so much for watching greedfall uh stay tuned for more games if you guys have suggestions of up and coming games you'd like me to see uh, or to try, then let me know. Again, thank you so much for watching and thanks for the support. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.